Today I'm going to show you how to set up and install an EasyLink standalone bed leave and alarm. When you open your box, you will find three components. The first one being the bed pad. The second one being a monitor with voice alarm in a little stand. And the third one being the pager. We'll start with the monitor. Comes in a little stand that can be strapped to the side of the bed. I will show you how to do that uh, a bit later. So if you remove the monitor from the bracket, the stand, open up the battery compartment, you will see there's two batteries and it requires three. Now you'll always find the third one inside the Velcro. So we're going to place the battery in the battery compartment and when we do this, it should beep twice to tell us that the batteries are full and working. Now, when we set one of these up, there are two choices. You can either have a voice reminder as the person gets out of bed, or you can have no tone at all. So the switches will say record, and that is what you will press if you want to record a message. The second one on there will be the decibels, so the loudness, and I would say that if you're going to have a voice on there, a recorded message, to put it up to 90, which is the loudest. The third one you will have on there is voice or tone. We switch this to voice for the demonstration purpose. If there's no voice, you will just merely switch it to tone. And the last one says pad or PIR. We're using a bed pad, so we will switch this to pad. Let me show you how to record a voice message. Press and hold the record button. Hold at arm's length, speak clearly into the monitor, and when you've finished, release the black button. Hello Dad, don't get out of bed, I'm coming down to help you. To replay that message, press voice alarm. Hello Dad, don't get out of bed, I'm coming down to help you. And that will be played. So as soon as Dad moves off the bed, that will remind him that someone's coming down to help him. And it might be a different message. It might be a message that says, Dad, don't forget to take your walking frame if you're going to the toilet. So that is the voice part of it. If you want to put it to tone, so no voice message, merely switch it to tone. Inside the monitor, before you plug it in, you will find a little safety cap. This we slide off and inside there you will see it will say mute, off or on. So if you're having a voice recording, you would obviously leave it off. And then next to that, it says delay. So do we want an instant alarm or do we want a delay on there? If we're gonna have a delay, it's 15 minutes. This will allow the person to get out of bed, go to the toilet, get back in bed within that 15 minutes. If they don't get back into bed in the 15 minutes, then it will then send the alarm to the pager. So for demonstration purposes, we'll have the mute off so we get the voice and we'll have an instant alarm so that it goes off instantly. The bed pad has a little plug. So plug the lead into the socket, like so, tucking it all in nice and neatly and replacing the safety cap. It comes with a little bracket, as I spoke about earlier. Now this will go on the side of the bed. It will wrap around or somewhere safe, so it's not a trip hazard, obviously. Uh, and then this monitor will go inside, like so, and will wrap around on the bed. So these wires will obviously be tucked in nice and neatly. Like so. So we'll fix the monitor to the bed frame using the Velcro that's supplied. It's not always long enough, so I always bring a spare piece of Velcro with me. I carry it in my vehicle for cases just like this. So we fitted the monitor to the side of the bed. Uh, just be aware that all beds are obviously not the same. I've been lucky with this one that I've got a frame to connect it to. If you've got a divan bed, just find somewhere simple, place it around the corner, or if you have to, 
put it underneath. Right, so go back to the bed pad position. I've put it in this position, which means when they sit up and they're thinking of getting out of bed, this will send the signal straight away, or two seconds. So um, in this instance, for the demonstration, uh, I have the pager, so I'm the carer. To test your alarm is working properly, remove your hand from the pad. The pager should go off, turn that off. Your voice will now come over on the monitor. In real life situation, the carer would come in and reset it. If you want to do it just to tone and no voice recording, I will show you how to change it. Slide off the protective cover. So say for instance, we wanted to take the voice off. We would then press this dip switch down, the first one, which says mute. Plug it back in. Put the protective cover back over, open the back up where the battery compartment is, switch the switch to tone. Then that will not make a noise inside here, that will only alert the carer by way of the, um, the pager. Okay, so we slide that one back in. Like so, tuck the wires obviously out the way, so they're not interfering anywhere. This is what will happen now. No voice on the monitor. The carer's pager will go off. Let the carer know when you do this that there is the facility for a voice recording on there. Okay, so it's not just a tone, it has got a facility for a voice. The chair monitor is exactly the same as the bed monitor, only difference being the size of the pad and it obviously goes onto a chair. We usually put a little cover over that so there's not sat directly on it. Put the monitor underneath the chair, being careful to tuck all the wires down out the way so as not to create a trip hazard. 